Hey guys, how we doing? Today's review, I'm actually, I actually have for you, is going to be a very special review. And it's going to be on a niche fragrance from the Creed House. And this is going to be Creed's Milasin Imperial. You can see we have an absolutely beautiful box. Creed does an excellent job with their boxes. Right here we do have the current owner of Creed right here. This is Olivier Creed. His son, Irwin's 29 years old, will eventually take over the house. And then the founder of Creed in London, and that is James Henry Creed right there. Creed was actually founded in 1760. But here, let me get to the bottle. We actually have a little write-up on Creed's history right there with the gold lettering. Love this bottle, guys. This bottle is absolutely beautiful. Look at that right there. This is actually the 2.5 ounce bottle. Just, and like I said, an absolutely beautiful bottle by Creed. So it is the 2.5 ounce or 75 milliliters. Now as far as a little bit of the history behind this fragrance goes, this actually came out in 1995. That's when Creed brought it out, and it was actually created for King Fahd of Saudi Arabia. This fragrance, my friends, was made for a king. Just to kind of give you an idea of the quality that's probably going to be in this fragrance because of that. But definitely, guys, we'll go into the notes of Creed's Milasim Imperial. For the top notes, we have crisp fruit notes and sea salt. For the middle notes we have Sicilian lemon, bergamot, mandarin, and Florentine iris. And then the base notes or the bottom notes we have as musks and woods and marine notes. So just by the note lineup you probably can tell it's going to be a little bit more of a citrusy fragrance because of that lemon and those crisp fruit notes. Now to what this really smells like on your skin or what it smells like on my skin. Guys, this is incredible, incredible stuff on your skin. Not often does a fragrance just like invoke an image in my head. Creed's Milasim Imperial invokes an image in my head. Just a beautiful situation. Really, if I had to describe this, I'd say picture you're walking on a warm beach with the one you love. Okay? This beach is next to an ocean. Okay, an ocean breeze comes up. Just that slightly, just airy, salty ocean breeze starts to blow by you. And that breeze actually blows through a lush watermelon patch. And you just get that, that slight ocean saltiness, that lush watermelon just airy and blowing across your face. I mean, it. this is one that will just put a smile on anybody's face. This is an extremely beautiful fragrance. When you put this on, guys, Creed, I think, did a perfect job of using kind of the gold right there and the gold cap. Because when you apply this, you kind of feel like there's just this gold aura around you. This, fra this fragrance was made for a king. Creed's Milasim Imperial will make you feel like you were royalty. That's how wonderful this fragrance is, my friends. Now, as far as an occasion goes for this, well, actually, before we get into an occasion, we'll talk about the longevity of it. Creed's longevity for this one is around three to six hours. Now, for a citrusy, kind of summery spring fragrance, three to six hours is pretty average longevity for this. This is definitely a spring or summer fragrance, guys. This probably wouldn't project very well at all in the winter, but the longevity may actually be even a little better because it's not really summer around here yet. So once it starts to get hot, the fragrance will project. But the longevity on it is anywhere from three to six hours, mainly depending on how cold it is outside. But as far as the sealage or the projection on your skin, 
this projects very well for about the first hour. The first hour, you really feel like you have that golden aura. Like I said, that king's aura around you. But after that first hour, it starts to become more of a close-to-the-skin fragrance. And it gets close to the skin, and you may not be able to smell it with your nose anymore. Your nose would have already adjusted to the fragrance. But when somebody gets really close to you, they will be able to enjoy the fragrance. And let me tell you, they will probably be impressed. Because I've gotten a lot of compliments on this particular fragrance. And I've only had it for like a week. But I've definitely been wearing it a lot. Now, as far as an occasion for this goes, because the longevity is in that three to six hours range, this, I think, is like a perfect ballroom dancing fragrance. If you do ballroom dancing, because this, the person will have to come close to enjoy it. And in ballroom dancing, you do become close. Another thing it would be great for is just, this is, if this is something you make memories around, guys. This is something that you smell 20 years down the line, and you'd be like, yeah, I remember that moment. I remember that, those special times. This is definitely a special occasion fragrance, too, because of how memorable it is, how beautiful it is. I definitely choose this on a date, 100%. I would love to use this on a date, just because it would leave such a nice impression with that lush, kind of, that lush watermelon and that slightly salty sea breeze with that golden aura. Guys, I can't, I can't understate it enough how much I enjoy this particular scent right here. Now, as far as the compliments I have got on it, I actually um, first wore this at a toga party, of all things. And let me tell you, it did leave a very good impression. I got a few really nice compliments on this one. Also, any girl that I've ever met that has smelled this fragrance has always been extremely impressed with it. This is actually a unisex fragrance, too. This can be worn by a woman or a man. So if you and your lover want to wear it on a date, or you and your girlfriend, you guys can both wear it. You can both enjoy it. Because there's not anything feminine about it, but there's not really anything too masculine about it, either. So really, it works for both sides of the equation. But as far as what you all want to know, and that's my final rating for Creed's Milasim Imperial. Now, I've been looking for my 10 out of 10 fragrance. The one that I'm just like, man, this one is the 10 out of 10. This is the one. And Milasim's Imperial final rating is a 9 out of 10. This would have been the first fragrance I ever rated a 10 out of 10 for if I would, or if I'd be able to get 8 to 10 hours longevity out of it every time. Now that's too much to ask for this type of fragrance. Generally fresh, more citrusy fragrances, it's very hard for those fragrances to last 8 to 10 hours. And actually because of so many natural ingredients in this, natural oils, that's another thing. Whenever you put more natural oils in a fragrance, generally it makes the longevity suffer just because of the purity of the fragrance. But guys, I'm going to give Milasim's Imperial a 9 out of 10. And I'll tell you right now that I've smelled over 200 fragrances. This is the best smelling fragrance I have ever come across. And that's with over experience 200 of them. An absolutely beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And a 9 out of 10 overall. And as far as the compliment rating... This gets a 10 out of 10. This, everybody loves this fragrance on me. They do have to come close to enjoy it, but everybody loves it. Now, as far as where you can get this, I'd recommend taking, getting this on your skin. Get it on the skin from a bottle, because one thing I've noticed about samples, samples don't generally last as long as your skin as, say, a spray directly from the bottle would. I'd probably go to sample this at at a Neiman Marcus, a Saks Fifth Avenue. You can always go to a Creed Boutique because they ha not only have the newest bottles, but you don't have to worry about getting a little sample that's been ex exposed to a lot of air and had longevity suffer. But this is one everybody, I mean everybody, should tr experience at least once in their life. An absolutely beautiful fragrance.
and that's Creed's Mila C. Imperial. If you've ever tried this fragrance, guys, tell me what you think of it in the comments below. But I love this fragrance. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.